MySQL commands. The commands you will use most often are a lot. I'll cover most of these as we proceed. But first, you need to remember a couple of points about MySQL commands. SQL commands and keywords are case insensitive. Creating capital case, creating small case, and create a random case all mean the same thing. However, for the sake of clarity, the recommended style is to use uppercase. Table names are case sensitive on Linux and OS X, but case insensitive on Windows. So for portability purposes, you should always choose a case and stick to it. The recommended style is to use lowercase for tables. MySQL data types. When creating a table in MySQL, it is important to know the type you wish to use for each attribute. Take a look at the list of different usable types. The most common used data types, integer and signed, makes the column take an integer, large enough for you to store more than 4 billion records in the table. Not null ensures that every column has a value. Many programmers use null in a field to indicate that it does not have any value, but that would allow duplicates, which would violate the whole reason for this column's existence, so we disallow null values. Auto increment causes MySQL to set a unique value for this column in every row. We don't really have control over the value that this column will take in each row, but we don't care. All we care about is that we are guaranteed a unique value. Key An auto increment column is useful as a key because you will tend to search for rows based on this column. Each entry in the column assigned auto increment data type will now have a unique number, with the first starting at 1 and the others counting upward from there. Unique Used to specify which fields are unique. Primary keys The importance of having a key with a unique value for each row will come up when we start to combine data from different tables. The auto increment data type introduced the idea of a primary key when creating the auto incrementing column, which could have been used as a primary key. To create new database, use the following command create database. The database name is exam system semicolon. Now that you have created the database, you want to work with it, so issue the following command use exam system semicolon. So, let's create a user who can access just the new exam system database and all its objects by entering the following command grant all on exam system dot asterisk to Safa at localhost identified by my password. What this does is allow the user Safa full access to the exam system database using the password my password. At this point, you should now be logged into MySQL with all privileges granted for the database exam system. So you're ready to create your first table. Make sure the correct database is in use by typing the following. Use exam system semicolon. Let's create students table by typing the following command. Create table, table name students. Open parentheses. The first column in the table students will be ID student. Now specify the data type for this field to be small integer, unsigned, not null, auto increment. To add new column, you need to separate them by comma. You need to make one column as a primary key, and that will be ID student. Email values must be unique values. Then you need to use unique data type for email field. The comment field is just an example of how you would insert a comment for a created table.
To check whether your new table has been created, type the following Describe students semicolon. You can also use describe command to remind yourself about tables field and the types of data in each one. Let's look at each of the headings in detail. Field the name of each field or column within a table. Type the type of data being stored in the field. Null whether a field is allowed to contain a value of null. Key MySQL supports keys or indexes, which are quick ways to look up and search for data. The key heading shows what type of key has been applied. Default, the default value that will be assigned to the field if no value is specified when a new row is created. Extra, additional information, such as whether a field is set to auto increment. Did you notice the semicolon at the end of each MySQL command that you typed? The semicolon is used by MySQL to separate or end commands. If you forget to enter it, MySQL will issue a prompt and wait for you to do so. If you are partway through entering command and decide you don't wish to execute it after all, whatever you do, don't press Ctrl C that will close the program. Instead, you can enter backslash C and press return. Table students has been created, but it's empty. So, on the next tutorial, we will learn how to insert, update, and delete data.